that'll wake the dead. Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com and we are driving the AMG GTS sedan. We got a four liter twin turbo V8 and this car looks amazing in red. Wow, this is my favorite color for the car. If you follow the channel, you know we already drove a white one on the track and on the street, but this car just looks so gorgeous. When the dealership invited me to come and do a review of it, I couldn't say no. This is just an amazing, amazing car. So, headroom can be a little compromised back here, but legroom is huge. Look how much legroom you got. AMG seatbelts, you can get standard black, or I believe it, red is a no-cost option. I had that in my uh, CLA 45, which I loved. Interior is gorgeous. Let's get inside here. And uh, just very sophisticated. I love the carbon fiber here. I believe that's an option. So is the Burn, uh, Burnmeister system. It might be standard, I forget. I say it in my E63 video. Here's all your controls here, your individual. You got the sport exhaust on, of course. We can press through all the buttons here. AMG dynamic mode, of course, we're gonna drive in that. And we can do comfort. We can do bad weather mode, sport plus, race mode, which well, we'll have to drive in race mode. So here's all your uh, volume controls, your Bluetooth controls. Who cares about any of that? Paddles are good, they're a good size. Beautiful instrumentation on these newer Mercedes. You definitely want that. You got your cup holders here. Who cares about cup holders, but you have them. Looks like you got USB and a power outlet. Radar detector, charge your phone, run your ways. And everything, everything is individually controlled here. You can do the sport exhaust, uh, the start stop, the radio. These are a must, I think these AMG seats, you gotta have that. I had that on my GLA 45, didn't have in the CLA and I kind of regretted it. You also have 21 inch wheels with ceramic brakes. So when you see those gold calipers, those are carbon ceramics for Mercedes AMG. Phenomenal looking car. I mean, just look at it, just look at it. Amazing, amazing, amazing car. All right, let's take it for a spin. Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com and we're driving one of my favorite AMGs today. It's the AMG GTS sedan. So we've driven the coupe version a bunch of times. We actually reviewed this car on the street and on the track, but this car was so gorgeous in this red color and I was offered it by DCA Jacker and Verona to drive it again. So I'm not an idiot, I'll drive it again. These AMGs, I'm telling you, to, like 2018 and up, these AMGs are just the best. You got the twin turbo V8 engine. They're so fast and powerful, and they're just amazing cars to drive. So much power and torque everywhere. Wow. So this car has ceramic brakes. And this is the real deal AMG. This is not the 53, this is actually the 63. And uh, I got the uh, the sports seats, which I had on my GLA 45 that I love. That's a must have option, because they're really actually pretty comfortable. And I've actually sat in them with a suit and a tie, since I'm a commercial real estate broker as a full-time job. And I was able to, uh, to do it no problem. Sitting in all day comfort with this. Oh, I guess the train is backing us up here, okay. It's that time of day. All right. So there's all there's all kinds of individual controls. We're an individual because if you go in Sport Plus, it gives the stiff suspension. You don't want the stiff suspension on uh, New Jersey roads, so I usually go with the uh, all the Sport options, but the Comfort suspension and the car handles just fine. We're not on a racetrack. I've driven this car in a racetrack, Monticello Motor Club in upstate New York. And as you would think, it's too big and heavy. But here on the street, it's really on its element. Now, I just got out of the Taycan Turbo. And again, Turbo is just a trim level now because it's electric. And let's see how uh, how this car does. This car is definitely more of a beast. The Taycan is fast, but eerily silent. Now, you do feel the weight on these turns, but you're certainly not buying it for these S turns. Come on. You're buying it for the sound, the look, and the power and the visceral experience. Wow. <laughs> I love the heads-up display. I hope that comes out in camera right over there. All right, we downshifted up to third. 
downshift to second. It's a heavy car, but it hides its way pretty well. And the dual clutch is really good. I mean, Mercedes has been killing it with the AMG GT and this, and the E63S. We drove the E63S, see that review? And I go over a lot of technical stuff and features. I'm not gonna do that in this video because I don't want to repeat myself because a lot of the features are the same. Torque everywhere with this car and it really barks, especially in race mode. Definitely stiffer driving experience being in race mode. Do you guys want to go through those turns again, those S turns? Well, we're going to do it, all right? Wow, that'll wake the dead. Wow, there's just torque. So even at three or 4,000 RPM, I'm still getting, turbos are coming on at about 4,000. Now there's no way this guy can go through our favorite S roads. And I feel like he blocked us in the other view too when we had the Taycan. So we're gonna uh, check out all these videos. We did some really cool videos. We did the Audi R8 V10 convertible in my favorite color blue. We did a Taycan in frozen blue. And now we're doing this car in probably my favorite color for this car. I love reds, blues, yellows. All right, so let's see, tight turn. Tight, tight, tight. Get out of the power coming out of the turn. You know, for what it is, it handles real well. I mean, it's not a sports car. It's not a 911. It doesn't even handle as well as an AMG GTS two-door, but for a sedan, for say a Pan America competitor, I would definitely take this a thousand percent. Now this is a higher price point than say BMW's M5. I guess this would go after the M8 Grand Coupe. There we go, we did really good around those turns there. All right, now we'll do some around town living. Unfortunately, I hate to do it, we'll take it out of race mode and we'll put it in comfort mode and see how it does. I still wanna have the exhaust on, so I'm gonna press the button. We're gonna do comfort exhaust, comfort shocks, comfort throttle, comfort suspension. Wow, so it's still pretty darn fast in comfort mode. I don't know it is any less power or acceleration. This car got more attention, I think, than any car that I've driven today. Just sitting in the dealership parking lot. Where could you buy this car? You could buy this car today. Uh, DCH Acura in Verona, New Jersey. They have new and used Acuras, hundreds of them, but they also have about 80 to 90 premium cars at once. So what kind of premium cars? Ferraris, Lamborghinis, AMGs, BMW M cars. Uh, we did the Ferrari 488 Spider there. We did the Lamborghini Urus, that sold after our video. We did the uh, Julia Quadrifoglio, that sold after our video. We've done the new NSX there. So great, uh, great job. Just ask for Tim, the... Uh, General manager, tell him Glenn sent you, and I'm sure he'll give you a deal on any car that he has. So this does really well around town. It really does. There was no uh, backlash, no jerkiness. Now, I noticed in the uh, race mode setting, it was kind of jerky in traffic. But now driving in comfort mode, we have no issues whatsoever. All day comfortable. If you don't want the sports seats, if you don't have the body type for it, certainly get the regular seats. But these sports seats really hold you in place and they are not, uh, they won't hurt your back like the uh, the seats in a GT3. Now, I think you always gotta keep this with the exhaust sound on because it's, I think AMG does the most amazing job with stock exhausts, the most amazing job. All right, guys, well, that's our video. I'm gonna head back to the dealership. My time with this car is over. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check out their inventory at DCH Acura in Verona. Thanks so much, guys, for allowing me to review this car. And guys, the more subscribers we have, hit that notification bell. The more subscribers I get, the more cool cars I can review. Thanks, as always, is your support, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like, and as always, make a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.